so my experience with this, with this deeper tuning, is that when I go down further, the snare side head is still fairly tight because it's dealing with much less material, much less mass. So it gets tension on it faster than the batter head, which kind of gets us a slightly tighter snare side head, which is what most people aim for anyway with their snare tuning, in my experience. So we can get a fairly traditional sound out of this drum simply by tensioning it up and not really worrying about where in the range we are. It behaves great at this low tension, a little bit of muffling, different things. Fairly similar to other 8-inch drums, maybe a little more resonant. We are noticing a lot of snare response, um, both at the drum and at a distance, so it's very articulate and brighter than we were expecting from a ply maple drum, which is very interesting. The die-cast hoops could also be contributing to that, particularly the rim shot, which is surprisingly powerful given the, uh, the construction.